The University of Michigan Dearborn has one of the best campus safety records among four-year colleges in the state of Michigan. In our continued effort to ensure campus safety, UM Dearborn asks for your assistance in following these guidelines. Knowing what to do in a fire can mean the difference between life and death. A fire can spread very quickly, producing thick smoke and extreme heat, and possibly leaving you with seconds to respond. Oh. If you are involved in a fire, stay calm and act quickly. Fire, there's fire. Go, Activate go. the fire alarm and proceed to the nearest exit. Do not run and never use an elevator during a fire. Use the stairs to evacuate. Once you are safely outside, call 911. Mobility impaired persons should go to the nearest designated stairwell and wait for help. If you see a mobility impaired person, alert fire department personnel immediately. Knowing what to do in a fire is critical. Following these guidelines could save your life and others. Remember, activate the fire alarm, exit the building, and call 911 after you are safely out of the building. Do not go back in the building. Remember, always take the stairs when evacuating. Following these guidelines could save your life. beautiful day can change in seconds. Should severe weather occur while you are on campus, seek shelter in the lowest level of an interior hallway or designated area until the all clear is given. Avoid areas with glass windows or doors auditoriums, gymnasiums, cafeterias, or other areas with large free-span roofs. Public safety will inform you of the all-clear via text, public broadcasting, or both. Knowing what to do during severe weather is key to your safety. All units, 6845 is requesting additional units and a supervisor. Active shooters are very real, and victims are usually chosen at random. If you are involved in an active shooter situation, there are three main steps that could save your life. Run, hide, fight. Shots fired. Oh my God, it's a shooter. If you can, run and encourage others to come with you, but don't allow them to stop you or slow you down. Leave your belongings. First responders are not there to tend to medical needs. If you see them, be sure to keep hands visible and free from objects. If you can't get out safely, find a place to hide. Lock and barricade the doors, turn off the lights, stay behind solid objects away from the door, and silence electronic devices. As a last resort, fight. Act with aggression, use anything you can find as a weapon, and commit to taking the shooter down. Remember, run, hide, fight. Medical emergencies can happen anytime, anywhere, and most often when you least expect them. Please note that not all medical emergencies are life-threatening, but may require immediate assistance. That's why it's important for you to know what to do. Medical emergencies vary in severity and can be deceiving, which is why it's important to respond with urgency in every situation. If you witness a medical emergency, call 911 immediately. Stay calm and provide the operator with as much information as possible. Unless your health and safety are in jeopardy, do not leave the victim alone.
Be prepared to respond quickly to life-threatening emergencies. How you respond in a medical emergency could save someone's life. Hazardous materials used in a laboratory can range from chemical to biological to radioactive. Due to the range and quantity used, pre-planning is needed to respond safely to a spill. Hazardous material spills should be only addressed by a knowledgeable and experienced person. There are two types of spills, incidental and emergency. An incidental spill is a spill that laboratory staff is capable of handling without assistance from emergency personnel. An emergency spill is a spill that is beyond the laboratory's resource capacity. This type of spill should be handled by emergency personnel only. When in doubt, contact University Police. The University of Michigan-Dearborn police and security officers look after the university grounds at all hours and are able to be anywhere on campus within minutes in the event of an emergency. But did you know both are there to aid you in non-emergencies as well? Non-emergency services include, but are not limited to, minor vehicle problems such as jump starts, keys locked inside your vehicle, and escort services to and from your vehicle. For more information on non-emergency services, please call 313-593-5333. Should an emergency occur on campus, the following lines of communication will be used. Website, social media, email, and text alerts. Go to UM Dearborn Connect and sign up to receive these emergency alerts. Hi, I'm Captain James Nitell of the University of Michigan Dearborn Police and Public Safety Department. Campus safety is our top priority. In fact, it's everybody's responsibility. In a time of emergency, knowing what to do can save lives, including yours. That's why we are asking you to program this phone number into your telephone, area code 313-593-5333. If it's an emergency, dial 911. On behalf of the men and women of the University of Michigan Dearborn Police and Public Safety Department, thank you for watching this program.